Fala aí galerinha, aqui quem fala é o Marco RJ e hoje eu vou trazer aqui para o canal a continuação do jogo Stories The Path of Destinies. Então vamos lá galerinha, vamos começar aqui da continuidade o jogo. Onde foi que paramos? Vamos nessa que a aventura vai começar. Se você não deixou o seu like, galera, deixa o seu like aí agora, a oportunidade grande de se deixar aquele like furioso e aproveitar e ainda se inscrever no meu canal. Se, é vo se você é novo aqui no canal, os vídeos saem aqui de segunda a sexta. E é isso. Vamos lá que a aventura começa. Ele estava tentando invocar os gods por meio de rituais escuros e rituais That was a secret that the victims had spoken to Renardo. The ghosts had spoken. No. No anger. Renardo could not afford anger. It was empowering the crystal in his sword. That made him stronger, but it clouded his mind. He would not be a hero. A hero strives. Renardo would just be one with everything. The Emperor would die. And the wheel would turn and all would be restored without rancor, without sorrow, without pain. You couldn't find high quality ore like this just anywhere. Just anywhere with chests. <laughs> Sometime. Renato didn't have vertigo. Sharp? Check. Pointy? Check. Flexible? Check. What else do you need in a sword?
But the more he thought about it, and he had so much more time to think about it now that he was not worrying about the battle, killing the Emperor would not change anything. Another would take his place. Perhaps Zenobia. Perhaps the Speaker of the Rebel Council, and power would corrupt them too, and death would make grief. Grief would lead to hatred. No, we must lead by example. Reject the violence. Reject the desire to create violence. But how? He wished there were more pylons he could use the hook on. They really needed to construct additional pylons. Soon, he'd confront the Emperor. Funny that this whole war had come about because the Emperor feared death. Now it was coming for him. There was some sort of lesson there, wasn't there? Finally, he came to the Emperor's ship. The path behind him was strewn with dead ravens. The path to enlightenment. His mistake, he realized, was trying to change the world. The world would spin and the wheel would revolve whether he strove against it or not. What he had to do was nothing. He had attained enlightenment. He sat down, adopted a full lotus position, and began to meditate. And all around him, the warriors stopped fighting too. They knew they could feel his enlightenment. They gave up fighting, dropped their weapons, and became his disciples. <laughs> no, just kidding. The nearest raven stabbed him with a sword and chopped off his head. I might not have thought this through properly. Thought Renato's head as it rolled around the deck and died. Renato stared at the book. He was still alive, again, and still only flying away from burning Ubar. Had he lived that adventure, or only dreamt it? 
Had he really died? It felt so real, not like a dream at all. And he'd lost again. Oh, he hated that. But he had made different choices. And he'd lost in a different way. It was the book, wasn't it? Oracles showed you your destiny. But this... This was showing him different ways he could die miserably. Thanks a bunch, book, he thought. But these were destinies that he did not have to fulfill. But he'd learn another true thing. The Iblis Stone was evil. It would try to corrupt anyone who used it. That meant there must be a destiny where he survived and won, right? Uh, otherwise, what was the point? And with that, the book's pages fluttered back once more to the beginning and... The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced, or so a scholar in the mountains had told him. Surely the weapon that banished the lost gods could defeat the Emperor. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis Stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it, to take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. On the other hand, his old friend Lepino needed rescuing. Lepino was no game changer, but could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? Então é isso aí, galerinha. Eu vou ficando por aqui. Se você não inscreveu ainda, tem essa última chance de inscrever no meu canal. Deixar aquele teu like maravilhoso. E é isso aí, galera. Um forte abraço, fique com Deus, um abraço e fui. The Ravens had figured out that Lapino was a rebel spy. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse.